For the past 10 years I've been doing research on the 18th century golden age automata, like The Draftsman and The Writer by Pierre Jacques Drault, Henri Louis Jacques Drault and Jean Frédéric Le Chaux. The Drawing Automaton by Henri Maillardet and Modern Drawing Automata by François Junot. These clockwork automata have one thing in common. Their movements are regulated by cam-based mechanisms. The cams are discs with a finely variable profile, which in fact represent the mechanical memory on which the movements to let the automata draw or write are recorded. My research is aimed at trying to answer this question. How do the automata makers design and manufacture those cams? This burning question arises once one realizes that the position of the pen on the paper in each instant depends on the configuration of all the joints and the complex series of linkages of the drawing arm. This means computing the inverse kinematics of the automaton arm. The inverse kinematics is the set of mathematical formulas that relate the position of the pen on the sheet to the angular position of the joints of the drawing arm. For modern robots, the output of this process are the angles of the motors. For clockwork automata, the output is the radius of each cam. It seems highly unlikely that Maillardet and others could have employed math formulas to profile the cam surfaces. François Junot, living automata maker working in Switzerland, still designs all of his automata by hand, planning them on paper without the use of the computer. So. How were the cams made starting from the drawings, if not using math? It's a trade secret, a mystery yet to be cracked. To better understand this process, I had to build some drawing machines on my own. I started with robots, like this Scara robot arm, my portrayer robot Legonardo, and other Cartesian plotters. Then I got rid of motors, microcontrollers and software, I reverse engineered and improved a drawing automaton by YouTube user Xeonbricks. This machine draws in discrete steps, controlled by, a, let's say, a digital brick built programming plate. Next, I wanted to make an analog cam based drawing automaton. I initially tried making a 2 degree of freedom automaton arm. Following the steps of the Golden Age automatier, I initially tried sampling a drawing of mine my signature, moving the blank cam to be discs at one degree steps for each drawing segment. The result was awful. Then I designed another machine using a pantograph configuration, whose inverse kinematics are very simple. I gave up using the good old fashioned way and said to myself that I'm still a 21st century engineer. So I studied cam design on a modern mechanical engineering handbook and started coding. I ended up developing a Visual Basic Power spreadsheet to generate the CAM profiles, starting from a set of coordinates extracted from a vector drawing. Check out the making process. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I work hard to provide fresh and interesting content about LEGO machines and LEGO robots. Here are the results.
I also tried 3D printing the camps to see if things would improve a bit. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about LEGO robots. As always, stay young and keep playing well. Ciao!